Hey VC, Wes here again, checking in with another uh, Survivor Series video. I'm doing doing two of these today. I got got sort of a backlog of stuff I've been listening to, so that's a good thing. I've been getting through a lot lately. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into this before it takes too long. Uh, first thing, listen to that, it, and this is actually not going to be going in the collection. It is the Isley Brothers Inside You from 1978, I believe, or 81. 1981. Um, yeah, this this sort of sounds as bad as the cover looks. Um, just has sort of that late 70s, early 80s disco influence to it, and uh, yeah, it just it didn't really do anything for me. And as you see, this has some some water damage on it. Um, this is on T Neck Records. Looks like it's a division of Columbia, CBS. But yeah, nothing really interesting going on there. This was a Goodwill find for 50 cents or 49 cents. So anyway, it's not going to be staying. Next up, another one that was uh, bought on the same day that's actually going to be staying and is also an Isley Brothers record. This is uh, much earlier. This is Go For Your Guns. Uh, it looks like a live album, but it's actually not a live album. Uh, this is from '77, uh, so this album's as old as me. Uh, very good. It's I I actually really enjoyed this. This is a lot, a lot better musically. Uh, uh, if you're familiar with Ice Cube's "Today Was a Good Day," uh, that's heavily sampled. I don't even know if I'd call it a sample. It basically rips off completely the uh, the the. Uh, musical part of Footsteps in the Dark, part one and two on here. Um, and the whole album has, it's it's that good. It's that kind of sound to it, and it's, it's really good. So um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed listening to this. So one good Isley, one bad Isley Brothers record and one good one. And this was, like I said, same place, Goodwill, 49 cents. Um, this one has a little bit of water damage right there. Um, so... Look for an upgrade copy to this, but for now, this one's pretty good. This one's that same orange T neck label. Next one is uh, another one that's not going to be making it. Uh, this is something I've had uh, for forever, I think. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, this is uh, CC Peniston's Keep On Walking 12 inch. Yeah, it's just. There's like six different mixes of the song on here. Uh, but yeah, I just. I don't really need. I don't really care. For, I don't really love that song that much, so it's an okay song, but it doesn't really do anything for me. So that one's gonna be uh, going away. All right. Next up, we have Bad Company's Desolation Angels. Very good album. I was I was actually surprised at how much I like this. Uh, this is from '79. Uh, has Rock and Roll Fantasy was the hit on here. It's got this uh, really cool hypnosis cover. I really do love the artwork on here. Even though this one had something spilled on it or something, I can't. It's, there's some nastiness on there that won't come off. So I do need to at least try and find an upgrade sleeve for this. But yeah, very good album. I I, I really enjoyed this, and I don't typically like sort of rock and roll. You know rock arena rock or whatever you want to call it sort of stuff like this but definitely enjoyed it this is on the swan song label and I don't remember exactly where I got this um, flea market or thrift store I know this was this is another one of my really really cheap blind buys that you know if I'm somewhere where they're really cheap and something looks interesting to me, I grab it. Uh, so this was a dollar or less, definitely, on this um, find. And lastly, uh, we have Falco with Falco 3. Uh, sort of a 80s pop uh, dance um, sort of thing. Rock Me Amadeus, uh, 
was the was the big uh, hit off of here, and it was uh, uh, came out sort of around around the same time as the Amadeus movie, so it was very popular. But uh, yeah, this is just some more '80s pop stuff that brings back memories for me, and it's it's part of my youth. I grew up in the '80s, so and this is actually just I hadn't realized this before, but this is a Canadian pressing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I found it odd. It has two versions of Rock Me Amadeus on it, and um, all the all the listings on Discogs and everything only gave basically one version. So this is sort of a, a unique to Canada sort of thing here. The Lacquer Company dash P in the Dead Wax. And then there's something in a circle, which I can't tell what it is. C3 maybe? I don't know. It's hard to tell and I doubt it would ever show up on camera. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a little too grainy. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Um, I don't know, Mark, if you can tell what that is, let me know. It does have an A&M uh, poly-lined sleeve that it came with. I'm sure that's original. Uh, so that was that was very nice. Yeah, it was it was strange to find uh, <laughs> strange to find this was a Canadian pressing. So that was an interesting interesting discovery. Even though I bought this a while ago, I didn't even realize it. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I love the '80s, and this was a cool find. And, cool piece for the collection. It was another one. It was in shrink wrap when I found it, so it's really nice and clean. Um, and yeah, that's that's another episode of the uh, Vinyl Survivor series. I Thank you for watching. Thanks for commenting. Uh, thanks for subscribing. And we'll, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.